हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे लेट टॉक अबाउट ऑटोमेटिकली असाइनिंग इश्यूज टू सम वन नाउ इफ यू आर वर्किंग विद जीरा देन आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव थॉट अबाउट ऑटोमेटिक असाइनमेंट ऑफ इश्यूज टू योर टीम मेम्बर्स और मे बी टू सम वन इन योर जीरा इंस्टेंस नाउ there was a question on the community today about uh, how can i stop assignment of an issue to a user who has like 10 or more than 10 issues already assigned to that person so i i, I thought we'll probably you know make a video on this topic because uh, it is a very common thing that people want to do now when it comes to doing automation on cloud you have the option to use automation rules here and uh, and what you can do with automation rule is uh, you can definitely do some kind of automatic scheduling not only really scheduling but auto assignment so when you create a new rule let me show you what i mean so i'll probably just you know start by creating a new rule and uh, what i will do here is i will let us say select a trigger which is issue created and the action is uh, assignment of the issues so you have the option to assign the issues automatically using uh, this automation so you can do few things of course you can assign the issue the issue to someone you know like um uh, maybe maybe you want a specific user and that specific user could be copied from uh, another issue another issue or it could be the parent of that particular uh, issue from where you are uh, triggering this it could be let us say copied from the epic it could be maybe uh automatic so when it is automatic it is usually the component lead or you can leave it as unassigned you can uh, you know do few things here and uh, it it will also list all the users that you have so this is fine in some cases but uh, you can also select here user in a group and when it when it is user in a group you can then select here uh, the method so in jira we have few options like balanced workload or random or round robin now when it comes to balanced workload what this will do as the name suggest and let me open this documentation so that you know i can explain you in a better way so when it when it comes to a balanced workload so it could be user in a group or let us say user is uh, in a defined list let us say you have uh, uh, let us say you have a list of uh, five or six users that you can uh, specify here now what will happen in this case jira will look for these three users and it will balance i mean the first one balanced workload i mean you can of course you know hard code it or you can uh, say that okay pick it from uh, or look for all the users in a group so this is definitely you know uh, something that you can do now based on this list jira will then uh, will, will then look for uh, all those users and it will see whether those users have uh same number of issues assigned or not the other option is random like randomly assign it which might not be useful or you can say round robin so round robin is uh, it will assign the issue uh based on the sequence of uh, uh users listed so basically uh, the first one in the list will get uh, the assignment then second one and then third one so you have few options in uh, and and i and i believe round robin is the one round robin or balanced workload is probably or i, I should say balanced workload is probably the one that you may want to look at to to begin with because especially in 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 cases where you are using jira service desk or jira service management i should say service management because in jira service management you basically want to ensure that your agents are not or basically or each one of them are doing the same amount of work uh at any given point right so you can uh, basically say that okay all the unassigned issues or all the unassigned unresolved issues will be assigned based on the count of issues per user in this list so this is something that you can do the other thing that you may want to also do is uh, you may not be able to stop uh, the person from assigning the uh issues to anyone or maybe to let us say a group of users you know in a in a project or in a team or a group but what you can do is you can actually use automation rule to tell you uh, whether uh, 
this particular this particular user who is now the assignee of my of my story is already doing a lot of other activities and by the way we are talking about not using any other app we are talking about only using uh, jira and uh, jira automation rules so what i what i did by the way i made a video like i don't know when but i made a video where i basically uh defined a rule that will add a comment on the issue and it will tell you that this particular uh, assignee has uh, 10 issues or 20 issues already so what you can do you can actually uh, um basically uh, fetch or write a jql something like this like assignee is equal to blah 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 and then you can uh, uh say that okay this particular uh, user which you just assigned this issue has uh, uh, 10 issues assigned to that user already and this is something that you can do um, using automation rules because when you're lo looking up for issues you know look up issues you can then uh, add a comment and maybe we can test it maybe i can just uh, go to the um, let me just do it for single project and uh, i can then uh, enable it and uh, let us see if we can you know just test it right now so what i will do is i will just open uh, one of the issue in my jira instance especially in my android project so this is my android project and i will make an assignment and then i will look at the log file and also i will look at the issue itself or maybe we can create a new issue why not because this issue is already uh, done so let me create a new issue in this project and let, let us test it i made a video by the way on this topic and and of course you know you can watch my videos i have like hundreds of videos on these topics so let me just create a new story and jira cloud is not really super fast like always anyways so new story and i may want to create the issue first and then i will go back to my issue where is my issue come on come on my issue is now lost oh yeah i can see the link view issue see it's always confusing right because i spend most of my time on jira data center where you have the pop-up on notice on top right but on cloud it is left bottom corner all right so this is the issue let me just assign it to okay let me just just assign it to myself because you know i, I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of work so if i go back to my rule let us see what did was it assigned to me okay now it is okay let us go back to the rule audit log so it is doing something good i can see it is doing something and it has let, let us take a look at the log and it says uh, the comment was added on uh, uh this particular issue and if i refresh this it should basically display a message or not a message but a comment it should add a comment on the same issue where it will say that okay ravi sagar already has two assigned unresolved issues so this is good right this is something that you can do and by the way i just uh, did this um on uh, android project but it can be like across multiple projects so you, you can think about some doing something similar or oh, apart from of course using those uh, uh, scheduling uh, features or oh, not scheduling features i keep saying scheduling but basically the feature the not feature <laughs> the option that you can use where you may want to just use the balanced workload or round robin or random because that will give you the option to do it automatically so you do have some options uh, when it comes to uh, balancing the work in your team and uh, you should try it out all right that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye